Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Scientists in Northern Ireland have created what's being called the first porous liquid. A team at Queen's University Belfast School of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering, with some help from colleagues at the University of Liverpool, created the liquid to include a high concentration of specially designed cage molecules, so that the liquid would contain permanent, pore-like empty spaces. These pores allow the liquid to dissolve gases in large amounts. The gas molecules are absorbed into the empty spaces. The gas-absorbing property of the porous liquid suggests that it could be useful someday in the carbon capture process, helping to mitigate the effects of climate change by trapping and storing carbon dioxide before it can enter the atmosphere. The Queen's University Belfast team says a few more years of research will be needed before we reach that point, but in the meantime, you can read the paper on porous liquid. It's published in the journal Nature. Next up, an experimental drug being developed as an Alzheimer's treatment has been shown to also have anti-aging effects. Researchers at the Salk Institute for Biological Studies have been testing a drug candidate called J147, designed to treat Alzheimer's not by attacking the buildup of amyloid plaques in the brain, as most other Alzheimer's drugs in development do, but by attacking the symptoms of the number one risk factor for Alzheimer's, old age. J147 had previously been found to prevent and reverse the effects of aging in mouse models of inherited Alzheimer's. In the latest study, the researchers tested it on a broader model of aging. Aging mice who received J147 demonstrated better memory and cognition and exhibited several physiological attributes usually associated with younger animals, including increased metabolism and reduced inflammation of the brain. The researchers stress that the effectiveness of J147 won't truly be known until it reaches human trials, but all research so far has been extremely encouraging. The latest study is published in the journal Aging. And finally, a team of computer scientists at Colorado State University is developing a system that could someday help to make the internet a little safer. The system the CSU team is developing, with funding from the Department of Homeland Security, is called NetBrain. That's brain as in membrane, not brain as in your thinky parts. It's designed to anticipate and defend against large-scale online attacks, like distributed denial of service, or DDoS attacks. DDoS attacks flood servers with overwhelming amounts of traffic, preventing legitimate users from accessing them and forcing them offline. NetBrain acts as a shield, detecting when incoming traffic is part of an attack and directing it elsewhere so that service isn't interrupted. The CSU team hopes that, once it's been proven effective, NetBrain can be made widely available and help protect against cyber attacks across the internet. Wouldn't that be good news? Scientists invent gas-absorbing porous liquid. An experimental Alzheimer's treatment is shown to prevent the effects of aging in mice. And a new form of internet security could someday be protecting us all against cyber attacks. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe to this channel if you're not subbed already. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. Right, Addington? Yes!